I'm Rasmus and I'll be presenting the paper Fast, Robust, Pick and Hole Insertion with Continuous Visual Servering by Jeppe Lango, Christopher Slot, Anders Glenn Buch and myself, all from the University of Southern Denmark. Our paper demonstrates a visual servering method which is robust to uncertainties from system calibration and grasping while significantly increasing the speed compared to classical methods and recent attempts based on deep learning. Our proposed visual servering method is based on point estimates in a multi-view setup. The point estimates come from learning on purely synthetic data. In robot systems, uncertainties accumulate from various system parts, and while calibration can reduce uncertainties to some degree, in practice, tool and grasp uncertainties and desirable system features like passive compliance and modular tool systems set a lower bound on the uncertainty. Thus, in an addition to a well-calibrated setup, high-precision tasks may require online uncertainty reduction. In this work, we focus on the common industrial task of inserting pegs into holes and attempt to align peg and hole with visual servering prior to insertion. Most previous work on visual servering for peg and hole requires peg and hole markers. In an industrial setting, though, having markers on pegs and holes is not generally feasible. Our method is marker free. One previous work applies deep learning to visual servering for peg and hole, but does so in a stepwise manner, obtaining insertion times between 20 and 70 seconds. Our method based on continuous visual servering reduces the insertion times to between 1 and 4 seconds. Our setup consists of 4 hole types and 2 robots. One robot to insert the peg and another robot with 2 cameras attached. Our method also allows the cameras to be attached to one robot, but having the cameras on a separate robot provides high flexibility, enabling visual servering for multiple tools on multiple robots. To clarify, the problem we address is reducing the positional alignment error between the tip of the peg and the center of the hole in the plane that is perpendicular to the insertion direction. Our method has two main components. First, we train a deep neural network to estimate the peg and hole center points in an image. Secondly, we use the point estimates from multiple views to estimate and reduce the positional alignment error over time. Estimating the position of both peg and hole in the images provides the benefits of image-based visual servering making our method robust to calibration errors. For point estimation, we use a standard unit architecture to regress two heat maps as visualized in figure 4F. Our proposed model is trained on purely synthetic data. We render synthetic images in Blender using procedural materials and natural high dynamic range environment maps, which provide realistic and diverse lighting and reflections. To reduce overfitting to the synthetic domain, we augment the renderers live during training with natural image overlays. The augmentation introduces extra randomization on peg and hole appearances which can be hard to simulate. Also, contrary to natural images as backgrounds, the model cannot simply learn to distinguish between the natural and synthetic domain since the overlays are imposed on the entire image. At inference, the point estimates are chosen to be the points of highest activation in the respective heat maps. Our method requires approximate depths and regions of interest in the cameras. These can either be estimated from an approximate whole frame or marked in a user interface once per configuration. We update the PEG robot's servo target in a loop until convergence. In each step, the alignment error in the plane perpendicular to the insertion direction is estimated and added to the current position to obtain the target. The target is filtered to avoid spurious termination from outliers in the point estimates. Our experimental setup includes five cases. To test generalization, the setup includes two peg types and four hole types covering multiple materials, scales and tolerances, as well as different peg and hole surface geometries. To demonstrate the robustness of our method, for each run, we sample large alignment and extrinsic camera calibration errors. In Table 1, we compare our method to classical baseline methods, which we outperform by a large margin in both speed and robustness. Compared to models trained on real images from a single peg and hole case, our proposed method trained on purely synthetic data generalizes better across the pick-and-hole cases and shows robustness to light disturbances. Comparing to state-of-the-art, our method is more than 10 times faster than recent pick-and-hole work based on deep learning. Finally, our method is focused on pick-and-hole tasks, but we hypothesize that deep learning-based visual servering can be applied successfully in many assembly subtasks.